and they know who they are. They recognize me because it's kind of funny when you don't want to recognize when you don't really care to recognize people because they really like, you know, they not they wasn't your friends. We not buddies. This and that dirt. You're not going to sit here and go out your dang way and be like, oh, my God. Oh, that's you. Like, so who, 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 people who like to go do that. They feel they feeling sorry or they feeling like, oh, let's see how, oh, let's see how he doing or how she doing. So we can sit here and tell, tell, tell our friends about this, you know. When I went to that school, I thought everything seemed pretty okay. Seemed pretty okay at first, you know? Um, because I remember, um, I think it was around that time where Soldier Boy was pretty much getting popular and everybody was learning how to do Crank That Soldier Boy. And I remember when we had to do it and it was like I was so hip, hip to doing it because the thing was was that um, I I'm a I'm a dancer I'm a dancer I'm you know y'all know I got so, to people who know know me know I got too many goddamn talents to count so anyway I was like well I got this dance on lock let me put help y'all do that thing so the other two three was like three people who did it. And we and I was doing real good. I was getting getting with them. It was like, hey, then Superman, and oh, I mean you, you know. So my shoes were untied. And basically, when I hit that, watch me, you, I said you and fell, and I I went up hard. You fall down. Then <laughs> like it was it, it, it was awful. It was embarrassing. It was um, it, it I can look back. It still it was funny because I think about it. I was like, watch me, you. <laughs> Uh, it was still hurtful though. I felt embarrassed about it at the time, and I thought maybe it's just you know people that was like, "Are you okay?" And, you know, a few people asked me, "Are you okay?" And that's a little, that's what it came down to. I was like, "Okay, cool." So I thought everything was gonna be dandy, but in reality, it wasn't because people were so evil, dumbass, like a dumbass, heartless. I tell you, and I I can easily say that now because I don't care. You because you making you I don't care what you do I just feel like you you making prejudgments about me everybody prejudges to a certain degree but you shouldn't let your prejudgments sit here and actually get away from trying to know a person and they turn out to be a, a good person inside and out or they not turn out might but turn out to be a learning lesson for you okay like I remember that made me very self-conscious about my body when I we had we would have drink gym back in elementary but we never had to change clothes and I always hated changing clothes in the boys locker room it's going to the damn gym I can never I can never sit here and go to a freaking gym locker room and feel comfortable I'm gonna just be like that because I always feel I, I will always feel freaking self-conscious about my freaking damn body because people would nitpick it, boys would nitpick it. Like, you a boy, like, why you why you trying to look at my damn body talking about I need a bra? Or, or, or a girl would say, oh, I need a training bra. You look like you got some titties. Like, you know, you nasty bitch. Like, you are like, why are you so a spiteful <laughs> Like, <laughs> there was a, a lot of, and, and most of this, and it was like a mix between the white girls, the white bo the white boys, the black girls, the black boys. Nobody, I was, I was, I didn't care about race. You know, I'm not I'm like, I care about race, but I don't care about race as in like, if you cool, we cool. I didn't, I like, nobody didn't get along with me. So what the fuck I supposed to do then? A lot of people, like, that really hurted me because that made me self-conscious. That made me really like, I couldn't wear like a shirt like I had a shirt on but I'm like I couldn't wear it like I had to wear an undershirt I never usually would never wear an undershirt to try to cover my body to try to like 
hide myself and this and that and the third. One dude, his name was Jerry, and he was like, he was like one of those like cool, you know, quote unquote cool people because he was on the basketball team, so. All that kind of goddamn mess. Ugh. So anyway, he was one of those people who always, who, who, who would, who would talk bad about me too. And honestly, him too. Like, I, 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 like, you know, it was kind of weird. It was like one of those people, like he would talk bad about me and he even, he even punched me in the face. Cause he wanted to sit here and kept on, he begged me to punch him so damn bad. He begged me to punch him so damn bad. But yet you want me, but yet you, when I punch you, you want to sit here and think you you had the right to punch me back. You the one who asked for it. So I will, I was really close to seeing just going ahead and beating his ass. I don't give a care. I'm a, I'm a win that. You, I don't give a care what, if you think you could throw more punches or this and that third. I'm going to beat your ass no matter what. I don't care if I just get, get one, one bruise on you. It's going to be a very good one, mother. Like, that's what it was. And because the teacher came just, just in time, I couldn't do anything because I really just wanted to, I, I really wanted to go out all out, no matter what. I don't care. So anyway, that's here and there, so f him too. And it was just a lot of people, and especially another group, like people who try to say that I'm mean because I'm sitting here ha having to cuss y'all, cuss y'all out. I had to had to did, have ways to make myself survive in these environments to where it was so dysfunctional and horrible to, to one's to a child or or to anybody's psyche or, or mental health to that uh, had to have some kind of mechanism to be able to feel that they in control of their situation. I was like I never was a person who who was like a cusser. I'm just gonna be known. Like if I ever cuss, I might have just cussed like a few times. But I really had to, really had to defend myself in ways where, if you if y'all can see and say hateful, spiteful things about me, why do you think I, I'm gonna allow you to do these things and not take it back? And I say, and I and I say a lot of a, a lot of crazy things about people. In a way where I, I I said it to their face though I didn't see him was going behind a back oh let me talk about him over there and this and that and third etc etc that kind of thing I said it to your freaking dang face and you felt oh this and that and third like I don't care we ain't friends you see it starting me a mess I'm gonna finish it point blank period period bitch wanna go there we can go there because we can go low for both. that's where, where I was at like don't see anything I'm both seeing and just take take the dang shit. I, I, I was never that person who felt like, oh my, oh my God, like, oh my God, I'm just begging for friends, please. I want to go to your parties. I want to be the cool person. Like, I was hurt, but I was never one of those people who who begged them to be my friend. I was like, if you if you go see and say these things, I don't want you to be my damn friend. Don't try to be nice to me and then you see and talking bad about me. I'm like, well, I didn't want that Now I'm getting hoarse about that damn mess. Whoa, you mad, huh? I'm heated. Cause I'm releasing this. I'm releasing everything to basically say F you. It's a F you and thank you next. And I and I want people to know that I've been there where at the point that I had to deal with these things. And I feel like it was never about just me being who I am or me. It was just every little thing that nitpick. It was like my hair. It was about my hairline, my weight, my chest, my voice, this and that, and the third. Like. These are things at the time, like, I can't change that. I can't really even change my voice. I mean, I, I know there's surgery out there, but you think I really want to change my voice because you see and telling me, oh, you, you this man a bird. Like, bitch, get the f out of here. I'm not going to see and do none of that damn mess. Like, get the hell out of here. I don't want none of that damn mess. Like, they ever going to talk bad about me, but you know what? I feel like it has to be a certain, it, it, it's, it's about a standard about ruining children's lives. And, and other people's lives who are growing into they, themselves, no matter if they're children, teenagers, or adult or adults, trying to still find their way. There, there is a drawing point that has to be at somewhere. That if you have to really have to like treat somebody bad because you are you are really having you are deciding to have this prejudgment about them. So you going so you sit here and get mad and get furious or you feel jealous. You feel jealous 
because of some reason that they don't even know why you freaking jealous of them and when they need in this and that third like don't do it you just you just messed up like you just a messed up person that's all it is like we had like an outside event where we was able to have like free time like because in our middle school we didn't have recess we was just in our books so when we had these free event these you know these free play playtime events and stuff like that it was like oh my gosh fresh up fresh air we can actually have fun for once you know because it was a very change a big change for us where we went from slides and um monkey bars to being in books all day the only class you have the only good time you're gonna have is lunch <laughs> so yeah and I just remember it was something that happened that made like the, the girl who was bullying uh, one of the girls who were bullying me she tried to blame me for something and it was just like Fuck all day I really broke down crying not in front of her, but just like, just shout at her and just then walked away and then started crying. And she, then my teacher came like, what's wrong? What's wrong? It's like, and she tried to give me a word of advice and stuff like that, but that doesn't matter. How about you sit here and uh, defend me and, and, and punish the goddamn people who was here starting to mess with me? That's what it really came down to. Like, see, you know, how can somebody, how can you tell me your word of advice, but you ain't really uh, taking accountability for the people who are doing wrong? Like, that's what I'm saying. How can I sit here and tell a teacher that's not gonna do anything about it? Not gonna really gonna sit here and be like, you know what? Uh, yo, you need to tell the parents and they need to have some damn home training. Like point blank freaking period. Moving on to seventh grade, same thing. It was, I thought it turned a little bit better at, when I was in that position at that age. I thought it turned a little bit better because I thought there was people who, who, who I thought was genuinely like cool. I thought, we would get along because they like art. They like making um, little comics and stuff like that. Just like being creative and and we would joke about things here and there, like just normal joke, jokey stuff, you know. But in reality, it was it, it, it was just like looking back at it now, cause they don't talk to me now, and they know who they are. They recognize me because it's kind of funny when you don't want to recognize when you don't really care to recognize people because they really like, you know, they not they wasn't your friends. We're not buddies. This and that dirt. You're not going to sit here and go out your dang way and be like, oh, my God. Oh, that's you. Like, so who, 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 people who like to go do that. They feel they feeling sorry or they feeling like, oh, let's see how, oh, let's see how he doing or how she doing so we can sit here and tell 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 our friends about this. You know, those those kind of people who still feeling like they still like they they the same. They still the same motherfucker from goddamn high school, middle school, and elementary. Like, oh my god, you never changed, bitch. Well, I see her move on and been wanted to move on. Like, duh, get out of here. Anyway, yeah, it was another time where it was still bullying happening too, and I just, I kind of just took, I had to break down, I just like, I just had to take, not take it, but it was like, I'm not going to sit here and try to be, it really like kind of put me in a shelter, in a, in a shelter where I just need to protect myself, like where I just, I can't even do any damn thing. Because I think that was what it was. It was coming down to it. Looking back and I feel like these people wanted me to just not, like, just be. I thought it changed looking back at it because I'm like, oh, I'm, I'm a, ta you know, I'm a talented person, you know. And I remember we had to do a math, our, our final math project. And our teacher wanted us to do a song or make, make a rhyme, make a rhyme about what you knew from math. It can be on any chapter, anything that you do in this and that third. And I just had this big old idea that I wanted to sit here and freaking uh, make a video. And I don't know if I'm ever gonna show that video, but I think I will. Cause I actually did post it on, on YouTube a long time ago. And I was, it was just a very, pretty much I did a rap to swag surfing and because 
I just like to dance, and I just remember when I got that dance, I was just hitting it all the dang time. I was just hitting it all the dang time. It was fun. So I was like, I'm going to do that, and I'm going to make a video. I'm going to have a backup dancer. My, my, uh, you know, I'm going to have a backup dancer in the back, and I'm going to have somebody record and help me sing do that. It was a mess, but I love it, though, because it, cause I love to do music. I love it. I love dancing. I love music. I love it all, you know. I love everything that I do. Cause that's what I love. And when that happened, I really thought I did a great thing. And I just felt very confident in myself. No matter if it was like a little bit jokey. When I say jokey, I mean like some people might might have laughed or some people laugh in a good way. Like, wow, this is good. Like, you know, some people was like surprised to see this and was happy to see me do it. And then there was others who might have just like joke and thought it was like a joke or whatever. And maybe they was just wanted to be jealous because I really just had that idea. Because when she was like saying that, I was like, oh, this is going to be my perfect time to put my, sk see, to put my skills, to put my music skills to work. You know, because I was like, shoot, I love to sing. I love to write. You know, I was like, I'm going to try to put my music skills to work and put my dance skills and that kind of third. I don't care. <laughs> I think it was still good. It was, looking back at it, I saw the video. It was like, oh, my God. Wow. I'm so embarrassed. But it still was a good video. To, uh, Because I very felt very confident in what I was doing. And I got an A, easy A. So, and she was just like, oh, I want to show this to everybody. You, I want to show this to everybody. My teacher was like, that. I was like, I don't know. It's like, mm -hmm. he was like, you know, you, think you need to show it to everybody. Cause this is real good. This is real good. So she, I was like, okay. And she was showing it to everybody. Cause she was like, this boy talent. I don't know. I feel like, she, cause I'm, I, she, she, I feel like she was my math teacher. My math teacher always had my best interest. Cause I felt like, um, she was like she was actually my my math tutor before she became my seventh grade teacher, and I thought she was a pretty good teacher because she really helped me understood math, where a lot of people didn't help me understood stood math in a way that she she did, and she really broke it down in a way that I really understood. So she really had my best interest at heart, and I I respect teachers who had the best in interest in the heart for the students and actually care about helping the students to grow and learn not saying like they supposed to be the, the child like the, the the child's babysitter like how some people feel like the teachers are always supposed to be the babysitters for people's children and they shouldn't always have to be but they should be able to help children lead them in the right path at least at least uh, eighth grade, still bad too. Like, I just feel like I just had a very bad, bad experience in all my schools because it just kept on getting, getting these points. And it was just like, people want to talk bad about my hairline. I'm just like, I'm just tired of people talking bad about my hairline. They, you, they will see and talk, say so much bad about it saying, oh, it's like a penis head. Oh my gosh. Yeah, you have a hairline that's already proceeding back at your age. Like, what is your problem here? That's why I said, like, I, I'm really saying F all you mofos and thank you next because you sound so stupid because right now you have a receding hairline. Forehead is so out of whack that your hairline is already starting back here and you see it keep on trying to tell tell the freaking barber, give me a fade and give me a line up. Like, you don't, even, you don't got nothing to line up. Let that hair go. Like, get the hell out of here with that mess. Like, don't talk about you. Like I, I, I'm, not, I'm not in that that area no more where you like you can't talk bad about me or about what I look like because you felt like I like you know what I'm saying I didn't even think none of the sort because then people didn't want me to feel that I was beautiful or that I was good looking and this and that third and and it's like a and I still have those moments then here and there but honestly f you and thank you next because. I can sit here and feel that I'm freaking good looking. I'm freaking beautiful. Like I'm sitting here freaking goddamn right now having I having a, a, a freaking uh mesh shirt on showing my goddamn chest just for the simple fact to say F you bitches and thank you next. Because y'all wanna talk so badly about my freaking damn chest. I have my chest out, titties out, what's up? Talking about a damn bra. I'll give you a damn bra, bitch. Like what? I'll give you a damn bra. 
Like it's a mess. Like I ain't worried about that, but it, it, it hurt me at the time because I was struggling because I didn't have nobody tell me that I was beautiful. I was this, this nerdy, and, and when I was not even that, I was never that ugly. But my because I was a, a child, my my mind was so warped that they were saying I was big, like so big that I was like 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 just like really fat. Like I was I was fat from my from my height my age, but I wasn't fat like I could not sit in my seat. Like how some other people talk about, I didn't eat cookies. Yet they can barely, they, uh, baby. Mm, mm, mm. We ain't gonna talk about other people's looks, but you know what? I just, you know what? But it, it's, it's a spade, a spade. Don't talk, talk, don't talk about me. If you, if you have some nerve to see and say, I look like a freaking, like I couldn't do any dang thing, but yeah, you barely can even fit in the seat. Don't do it. It, it was just like, I'm just over, over, over middle school and stuff and just school in general. I just thought that people, when I did that video, I thought people was gonna be more like, I thought, uh, I thought people was gonna be more just like toned down that shit. Like, oh, he got, like, you know, oh, he got talent. But no, and I think because I had talent, there was people who wanted to gun down me even more because they was, they was jealous. You was jealous. That's jealousy. That's hate. That's ugliness. Get your hateful evil ass out of my damn prison. So, and I thought it was gonna just be at least like, oh, okay, you know, I think he's a cool person, that kind of thing. Not because my, just because my talent, because we, we misjudged him and we should apologize and that and dirt and et cetera, et cetera. But people wouldn't do that because they, 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 they just hateful, spiteful mother So, when I, uh, and I graduated, everything changed because I really thought I had a good time, a lot of super good time, but a good time enough that I thought some people were really my friends. Cause it ain't like we buddies, but I thought we was just like, like not best friends or like, like that, but just like friends like, oh, well, I could see us being friends in the long run. That kind of very good friends in the long run, you know? But, they were starting rumors about me too. Like I told you about that dude I told you back in the in the fighting. No, the people who watch my um fighting story time about some cookies and fake friendships, especially when it came down to just like um singing. Like he thought he was the uh, he was the best to the best uh, at at singing, and it's like. And you want to talk bad about everybody else who can sing, but yeah, we can sing, hit a f***ing goddamn note, hit a freaking run, hit Will of Emotion, and, and soul too. Because I've been through a lot, and I can sing, and I can sing and tell a story with my damn voice. Like, don't do it. Don't do it. Because if, if a other person who's a singer who who told me, you should apply, you should have went... You should have uh, tried out for the for the graduation ceremony. You sounded good. Like if a, a person who don't we never who transferred and we never really got got to know each other like that. And she told me that I could got now saying she sing real good. She sing real good. You mean to tell me you telling me and tell me that I, I'm supposed to be in the graduation? You tell me that I don't say I'm like no. You just a hateful bitch. Like you know like oh. <laughs> you want y'all? I bet y'all want to hear it hitting up. But I hit I hit some notes on my Instagram. Y'all seen it. Oh, 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 oh. Don't treat me to these things of the world I'm not that kind of girl It's love, is what I prefer, what I deserve Okay, let me stop. Anyway. But it kept on going and I just thought ninth, ninth grade, when I once I got into high school, I was just kind of just over every damn thing. I just felt like I just never gonna win to lose. 